Welcome to Glisten's Culinary Delights. I'm Glisten and it's been a minute since we've actually baked something on my channel. So today we're going to be baking and we're going to be making my grandma's special blondies. So stay tuned. Listen, and today let's get started on our blondies. So this recipe is from my grandma Sylvester. She was an amazing baker. If you're interested in any of, of my other recipes, you can go here um, to this chocolate chip cookie recipe. It's also my grandma's chocolate chip cookies, and I've been told that they are the best chocolate chip cookies ever. So head over there, watch the video, make these blondies too, and let's get started on our recipe. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, definitely do so now. Let me know in the comments that you enjoy my videos, and if you'd like to see something different, then also let me know that, so I can keep making these videos and then make them entertaining for you. So we are going to get our hand, a hand mixer. You can use a hand mixer, you can use a stand mixer, whatever is easiest for you. Um, you're going to get some butter, and this butter is softened already. And then we're also going to add some sugar. So we've got some brown sugar and that's packed. So make sure you pack that really well in your um, bowl. And then we've got some granulated sugar. Now we're going to use our mixer on a medium and we're going to mix those sugars together until we get a nice and fluffy consistency. We've got our butter and sugar beaded together. It's nice and fluffy. So now we're going to add in two eggs and some vanilla. I just like to crack my eggs on the counter because it avoids getting shells if you crack it on a flat surface. Perfect. And vanilla. Now beat those together. All right, now that I got a nice smooth consistency, I'm going to work on our dry ingredients. So for our dry ingredients, we've got some flour, we've got some baking powder, and some salt. You're going to whisk those together. You can use a spoon. And then you're going to add the wet ingredients, the dry ingredients, to the wet ingredients. And mix it up on low. All right, we're almost done. So we've got some chopped chocolate that um, I just roughly chopped. We'll add that in there. And then we've got some macadamia nuts that I've also roughly chopped. And fold that in, however you like to do it. You can use a spoon, or if you're using a hand mixer, it works pretty well if you mix it in. And we're done. All right, make sure your oven is preheated to 350. We're going to get a 9 by 13 pan, and we're going to spray it down just to grease it so your blondies don't stick, and then we're going to pour our batter into our pan. All right, spread them around evenly. Right, there you have it. So I'll show you what these look like when they come out. Um, they aren't super thick, and so if you want thicker um, blondies, then use an 8x8 instead of the 9x13. So these are evenly spread. I'm going to stick these in our oven for 25 to 30 minutes, and then we are going to, or until they're golden brown on the top, we're going to take them out and we'll let them cool for 10. All right, it's been 10 minutes and I can't wait any longer. So I'm going to cut into these and make myself a plate and we're gonna try them out. Super excited about these. Um, what's your favorite part of a brownie? Do you like the outer portions? Do you like the center? I like the outer portions because I like the crispiness. All right, let's cut ourselves a brownie square, shall we? Or I guess a blondie square, because these are blondies. So the way I cut them, I've got about 12. You can cut them smaller though and you can get more brownies. But I like a good portion. So 
Let me serve this up. All right, look at that. That is so good. That looks so good. All right, we're gonna get to taste this. So full of chocolate. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> Oh yeah, those are so good. Grandma Sylvester was like the best baker in these brownies. Show it. Mm. Now you make these brownies, you can eat them just like this. You can make them all in a mold, put a scoop of ice cream on it and they are delicious definitely make this recipe like and subscribe to my channel and i'll catch you next time on glisten's culinary delights have a great day